Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over the camera. If you notice in the top left hand corner, you have a button that basically looks like a camera with a reverse. And what that does is that is what I like to refer to as a selfie mode camera. It, it turns the camera from the front camera, front facing camera to the back facing camera, just like this. Okay, it's pretty simple. And then now what we have is in yellow over here on the far right, this basically lets you know that we're in time lapse mode. And then the red button is an option for you to go ahead and click the um, to make to take the actual photo or to start the video or to stop the video. And then you can also use the volume up button to take the photo. Okay. Scrolling down to the next one, we're in slow motion. What you can do is you can press auto and that's for the flash and that's turn on or turn off or have it auto. It's up to you. If you want to control it, you can. And in the center there, that is how long you've been taking the video or the slow motion or whatever the case is. And in the far right, is this is how many frames per second. And you can just click on it and it actually changes for you. It's kind of nice. All right. And now what we can do is we can go to video. Again, we can control the uh, flash. We can see how much time has elapsed. And now what we can do is we can go into uh, selfie mode again. Okay. So if you want to make a video of just yourself. Okay. And now we can go to the next one. Now, now we've gone into the camera, uh, actually just taking a regular photo. Again, top left, we have the selfie mode. We have a timer. I'm going to try to see if I can fix this a little bit so you can see it better. And then if you see that in the timer mode, you have uh, three seconds, five seconds, whatever. And it's, up to, and it's up to you how much you choose. And then we put that back. And then we can go to HDR. And HDR actually allows you to choose between um, auto or on or off. It's up to you. And then here, this is your flash. You get to choose between auto, on, and off. And then up here in the top right, what you get to choose from is different filters. If you would like to apply a different filter to your photo, you can. This actually applies the filter to the photo prior to taking the photo. Okay. Then you can go ahead and turn it back off if you'd like. And again, with all these features, I just want you to point out, you can press the button there to take a picture, or you can press the volume up button. Now, Square has the same features on the left and the right. The only difference is the, the, the picture is actually cropped, if you see this like that. And what that is, is that so that Instagram doesn't have to crop it for you. You can go ahead and have a photo ready for Instagram. And then the next one is Pano. And what I'm going to do is, with Pano, I want you to see what you do is you press the button there if you want to go to the right, or you press the button if you want to go to the left. And what you do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually take this photo for you, so you can watch the rules. This thing actually, you know, determines whether or not you need to slow down or speed up, whatever. Oh, you went backwards. Oh, don't you got to, you know, you got to follow the rules. You got to do what it says. It's kind of a nice way of taking photos. And there you go. And then when you're done, it go ahead and puts it in the camera roll down at the bottom. And it's kind of neat. Okay. All right. And um, now if you see in the bottom right hand corner there, all your photos go there. Every video, every photo goes there. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in, the, in another class. Okay, now what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you some settings in the uh, for the camera. And what I want you to do is go to settings, photos and camera, and then go all the way to the bottom on that. And then what you can see is um, for the camera itself, you can turn on and off the grid. What the grid is is the uh, rule of thirds. It basically looks like a, a tic-tac-toe board. And what you get to choose whether or not it's on or off. And then you can uh, choose whether or not you record at 60 frames a second as opposed to um, 120 frames a second and then HDR you get to choose whether or not you keep the normal photo or not it's just up to you okay okay if you notice in the bottom right hand corner you it says um, has a camera it says slide unlock don't press the slide unlock actually press the camera and it takes you into the camera mode and you can automatically take photos just like normal you only have access to the photos that you've taken during this session but you have full access to the camera all right, that pretty much concludes my class for today. I hope you got something out of it and have a good day.